Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Yes, you read that title correct, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to Chosen Nitsuj for sharing this. The person we're looking at today is Prophet Joshua Holmes, and we can see what kind of a prophet he's about. And he's got more than a quarter million followers. But his ego appoints titles other than just prophet. He's also king prophet and apostle prophet and even has videos that we'll look at teaching that we are gods. And there's been several articles showing that this Texas-based deceiver's followers even consider him to be Jesus in the flesh. Here's just a couple of clips. Hi everyone, my name is Mylesha. I'm with JHM. My prophet is Prophet Joshua Holmes, Apostle. He is my father. Also, you will see me call him my Lord, my divine King Jesus, because he is just that. He is my Lord, just as Sarah's Lord was Abraham. She knew who her Lord was. So, um, for all your hate, all you haters, if you don't know Prophet Joshua Holmes, you ain't got the Holy Spirit. That's all I gotta say. You don't know Prophet, you don't know Jesus. Yeah, 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 because he's changing lives every day. He is Jesus in the flesh. He is Jesus in the flesh. He is very tangible. Hit the power of God on him just because he throws his jacket. If you, because you can't throw your jacket. Exactly. So if we don't know Joshua Holmes, we don't have the Holy Spirit. Total blasphemy. And like many of these phony preachers, it's all about the money. He's got a site dedicated to buying his books, and every book on this site will cost you $20.20. Crazy stuff like understanding wealth gates and angels, commanding wealth and loosing billionaire status. We've got wearing a money mantle and supernatural money anointing. You can see page after page of these and many deal with money. And if it's not dealing with money, it's talking about prophetic secrets and others. There's 74 books in total. And of course, there's a baptism of fire book. He's like a little Benny Hinn. So there's all that nonsense. And here's a clip of him promoting one of these events. And you can find videos of so many people just idolizing this guy. It's truly sad. But that aside, he does teach that we are God in the flesh. Bible talked about there was a mystery, how God was manifested in the flesh. And when God was manifested in the flesh, it was Jesus. You know, a reason why the Bible said there was a mystery to godliness was because Many people will not comprehend the mystery or ever understand it. You see still today, it's still a blind spot. That's why the word of God say that there was many things that Jesus did. There was, <laughs> there was many things that Jesus did but it was not recorded in the word. There was a reason why it wasn't recorded because men are still stumbling on the actual word of God as is. Even the word right now has become a stumbling block to many and it's so easy to comprehend once you humble yourself and get wisdom.
and understanding. With you being a God in the flesh, this happened and it was activated afresh when you received Jesus. The Bible said to as many as receive him, he gave them power to become sons of God. The power of sonship, it means that now you are God in the flesh. Total blasphemy, and yet people listen to this guy. And then in this video from Sword of the Truth, he says to tongue kiss Jesus. Look at your tongue. If you look at the snake, look how it hits. Look with the tongue. Well, guess what? The devil used your tongue. Why? Because your tongue can become a snake. You start hissing at your own destiny. And there's two realms, hissing and kissing. Which do you choose? Remember, I read the scripture in Psalm chapter 2, kiss the son. Hissing and kissing. You can be hissing with your tongue, or you can be kissing with your tongue. Tongue kiss Jesus. What? Lord, rebuke that. In Jesus' name. Tongue kiss Jesus. Tongue kiss him. Use your tongue to kiss Jesus Christ every time. Yeah, yeah. This is how thick the deception is. People are idolizing this guy. In this video, he's calling people the N-word for coming at him on his live feed. I'm not even going to play you that one, but I will leave the link to that below. But the truth is that you can do a search and find video after video with even more terrible things about this deceiver, but people still follow and look up to him. We have been warned of these people so many times in scripture. Matthew 7.15 says they will look like sheep, but they're actually ravenous wolves. And 2 Corinthians tells us that false apostles are deceitful and are disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. It's all a show. It's acting in both word and action. It further explains that these are servants of Satan pretending to be servants of righteousness. And when we see the fruit we've seen from Joshua Holmes, there's a pretty good chance that he's one of them. But this is part of the New Apostolic Reformation and why we must carefully examine these people before listening to them. Read your Bibles, my friends, and avoid deception. We'll leave it here for today, but as always, feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.